change your mind and transform your life. Hey there, I'm Heather Hakes. Welcome to my channel. This channel is designed to help you live the life you dream about. But before we dive into today's video, I invite you to check out my free video training on how to reprogram your subconscious mind. Again, visit my website, heatherhakes.com and opt into my free video training. You can also click on the link below in the description box. Be sure you're subscribed to my channel so you're the first to know when new videos drop. And I wanna know, where are you watching from? Comment below. All right, let's get to it. Let's dive into today's video. Today, I'm excited to be sharing with you two important topics, and they are the power of the placebo effect, and then also I'm going to share and explain with you the nocebo effect. How these, you know, the commonalities between both of them, and most importantly, the power of your mind. So let's start with the placebo effect. This is something you have probably heard of, and if not, let me give you a brief overview. The placebo effect, there are tons of studies out there from doctors and scientists proving this point, proving the power of the mind. And the placebo effect is as simple as this. When a patient goes to a doctor and is seeking treatment for pain or disease or ailment and they're given a pill, and then weeks later after taking it, they have, they're in recovery or, you know, the pain or disease or whatever they had going on is gone only to find out the pill they were given was only a sugar pill. That is the power of placebo. It's the belief that something is going to change you, but you have this belief in the power of this pill. We've also heard the power of placebo effect in sham surgeries. Somebody thinks they had knee surgery and all they may have had is an incision or a cut on their knee and then sewed right back up, nothing being done. But the fact that they think they got surgery to fix the problem, they believe they are quote healed or fixed and then they go on to live their life only finding out they had a sham surgery. So what I want you to take from this is right now think about it. Where have you had positive beliefs and positive expectations on a scenario, and that's what came to fruition. I'm sure this has happened to you time and time again, but now let's talk about the flip side. Let's talk about the reverse. The nocebo effect, effect is just as powerful, and it states having a negative belief or expectation on how something is going to work out, and that's exactly what happens. So let's say you're going out on a date and you don't think it's gonna go well and you're having these beliefs consciously or more importantly, subconsciously. And that's why I provide a free training on how to reprogram your subconscious mind. You can find that on my website, heatherhakes.com. Because if you don't understand these subconscious programs, you can't change your life. So this nocebo effect, having negative beliefs, negative expectations on an end result, remember we're talking about going on a date, and of course it's going to go terribly because you are you have bad energy around it, you have bad beliefs, you don't think it'll go well, so how could it? Because you create your reality. Your state of consciousness, whether it's pro, positive, placebo, or negative, no, nocebo, you're creating your reality in either situation. That's what I want to help you understand. And now that you understand these very simple terms, very simple power of mental programming, your belief system on how your thoughts create your reality, now you get a step out of autopilot and into becoming a conscious creator. Something else I love to share is a simple four-step diagram. This is what I call the thought cycle. And this is perfect right now since we're talking about placebo and nocebo, both based on thoughts. The thought cycle goes like this. Your thoughts create your emotions and feelings. That's why we're talking about beliefs and expectations. So thoughts create emotions, feelings. Those lead to the actions or inactions you take and ultimately your results. But where did that all stem from? When we reverse engineer our results or outcomes in life, you can step it back three stops and realize, oh my gosh, my thoughts are creating my reality. Thoughts become things. This is when you take your power back. This is when you realize, 
wow, I really have been playing nocebo effect in the background on all these situations in my life, believing and expecting them not to work, and then they haven't. Or, wow, I am a powerful creator because I had belief and I had expectation how something was going to work out, and it worked out exactly like that in my favor. So you can see how you've used both of these in your life, and now what I want you to do is this is about awareness. Ultimately, it's about awareness. Now when you're stepping into awareness because you understand the power of your thoughts and your mental programming, and now you can direct your thoughts and create the life that you dream about. So much of this is about your conscious brain, which is 5% of the picture. That is important because without that 5%, you're literally, your hands are off the steering wheel. You can't direct your life. But now using this 5%, your hands are back on the steering wheel. You can say goodbye, see you later to the nocebo, the negative thoughts, beliefs, and expectations you have in your life and turn them into placebo, the positive creating belief and positive expectations for your life. That's the conscious, that's the first step. But you have to understand even deeper than that is your the full picture of your mental programming, which is the conscious mind, 5%, now you're aware, this is the creation stage, this is your desires, but you have to create alignment between your conscious brain and your subconscious brain. That's why I've created, again, that free video training so you can understand this because if you just consciously have these desires and you're consciously creating placebo outcomes, but your subconscious disagrees, that's when you're going to hustle and grind. You're going to try to make things happen. You're going to effort and you're, you're literally like pushing a ball uphill and it's like you're never going to get there. And all it is, is a disconnect between your conscious desires and your subconscious beliefs. When you close that gap, when you create alignment, then you can live in this placebo effect. That will just become your habitual beliefs, habits, behaviors, and actions. That's just who you will become. You will be that conscious creator with your hands on your wheel, having created alignment and have all the money you can desire, the experiences, the relationships, the home, the travels, the business, whatever it is you want. But you have to understand and when you're using the placebo effect in your life versus when you're using the nocebo. And the second step, have you created alignment between your conscious desires and your subconscious beliefs? Comment below, what did you get from this? What was your aha moment? I want to hear from you. And better yet, have you opted into my free video training so you can continuously create this alignment and live the life you dream about? Thanks for watching today's video. I wanna know, what was your biggest takeaway? Comment below and let me know. If you liked this video and it resonated, give me a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you're the first to know when new videos drop. I'll catch you on the next video.